Ever heard of a rolling herb mincer? How about a stainless steel tea wand? Okay, neither have I. April's issue of Shop Smart Magazine has the goods and some kitchen gadgets that you never knew you needed. And to show off some of those gizmos, we're joined by Sue Perry, Deputy Editor of Shop Smart. Good morning. Good morning. So usually when we are setting these interviews, I read the articles, I prepare for it, but I didn't do it on purpose this Good. time. Because we want to play a little game here. Yeah, let's play a game. All right, so okay. what do we have? Okay, what do we have? Um, to me, that looks like a computer mouse or a hamster house. Well, you know what? <laughs> Good guesses, but remember, these are kitchen toys. Okay. This is a corn stripper. Oh. Yeah, so it's got this little blade at the bottom, and you go along the cob, and it takes off the corn kernels and puts them in here. It holds about a half a cup. And so um, this is all it does. And so if you have the kitchen drawer space for just taking the corn off cobs, um, and if nobody in your house can eat corn on the cob for some reason, right, maybe it's a good thing, or exactly. Or if you make a lot of salads with corn in it or chowders or something, it might be something that you might not have. But otherwise, remember, this is all it does is take the corn oh, off that's cobs. That's neat. So no knives down the corn stalk. Yeah. What about this next one? This, to me, looks like I don't even know. Don't even know. Can't take a guess. Can you put stuff inside it? You do. Good. Okay. Good start. This is a tea wand. So you, you take this and you put the um, tea leaves inside here. It's, there's a little scoop. This comes apart. And this plastic part has little tiny holes in it. So when you put this in the water in your teapot or your cup, it steeps the tea. Okay. But it also has another use. Um, if you're cooking um, with uh, herbs and spices, let's say bay leaf, and you don't want to have all those sticks and, and little leaves in your stew or your soup, you put them in that here. That is a great idea. See, so this has a couple of functions. So, uh, and it doesn't take up a lot of drawer space. So if you like tea and you cook with herbs and spices, maybe for $10, you could um, get yourself a tea wand. Well, let me see this next one. Okay. Because to me, this just looks like a <laughs> piece of metal, but underneath yep. there's this. Uh, yeah. I, I, again, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe I'm not that creative uh, no, tonight. No, <laughs> no. You know what this is? Well, look at what it, you know, it kind of looks like. Um, For your um, finger, maybe? It's, you put it on your finger, and it is a cook's shield. It's a so guard. You don't burn yourself? No, so you, you, when you're. I, supposing I'm cutting and chopping and slicing here on a cutting board That's so great. I don't cut my fingers. That is great. This is good. It's $15 and if you do a lot of slicing and dicing and chopping and a lot of knife work, this could save your fingers. If you don't and you use one of those little automatic choppers or yeah. your food processor, you could save yourself the $15, okay. but that's what this is. Um, this next one to me looks like maybe uh, to make melon balls or it something like that. It has that look. Um, it does have that look. But this has a different function. Okay. This little, there are two ends. One looks like a little spoon, a little scoop, and one has little teeth. You can feel the little sharp teeth here. Yeah. This is for taking the stems out of peppers and tomatoes and hulling strawberries okay. quickly. And this little um, scoop is for when you open up a pepper and all those annoying little seeds. Yes. So that's what it is, is a stem and a seed remover. Okay, that's very specialized. This is very, very, all of these things are very <laughs> specialized. This costs about $6. Uh, what's this next one? This to me looks like um, if you're cooking a turkey and you need to spray it with juices, yeah, something like yes, that. Yes, it does. A baster. It does look like a baster, but what this is, is it holds icing. This is a little decorator uh, icing uh, squeeze bottle. And you put the icing in here, and it's got the little pastry tube, and you make the squiggles and say happy birthday or congratulations. If you're doing a lot of baking, working with your kids, this is kind of a fun thing, and it doesn't, it's not as wieldy as a, um, a pastry bag. Okay. And then what I like about it is if you haven't finished all your decorating and your baking. You can put it in the cabinet and you save can put, it. Yeah, you can save it That's in the great. fridge. I'd put it in the fridge. Okay, yeah. well, we'll tease everyone with this. We don't know what it is. We don't have time to get to okay. it, but that's even more reason for everyone to check it out is. the article. Sue yeah. Perry, thank you so <laughs> You're much. You're welcome.